What's up, everybody? It's Robert. You're watching Sidestep Adventures. I'm out here with Scott. The Howdy do. Bug spray man. And Dan, he's getting a snake stick. And we're on the hunt for a cemetery that Dan saw on a map. So uh, we'll see if we can't find it. We've got a, we've been driving up and down this road looking for it, but we've got a hill up here with some old broke trees. And uh, as Dan said, it hasn't been cut in a very long time. So this is a cemetery that neither Dan or I know about. There's a map. Looking at this, and we're up in here where my thumb is. Yep. The road comes and goes just a little bit of dip and then back up. This looks like, look, we just came around a little bit and then it goes back up and it'll go around that way. So my best estimation without a latitude longitude is we should be very close. From, from the land, it looks like it. We are talking a 1907 map. No, no, that's 1975. That one he's got. Yeah, that one, that one's 75. Okay. Yeah, that other one's, one's 1907. That's a little bit more recent. Okay, a little more recent. <laughs> the data's probably from then, though. Yeah. I'd see a field stone right there already. Yeah. And it's not necessarily marking a grave, but we'll find out. So something was definitely going on here at some point in time, but... I think, is this the old road bed or a drive into this property? I think that is an old road bed. It comes up through there. Look at this. See that? Right now. This is a, this is, this is like the uh, Whitehead Plantation, Dan. <laughs> yeah, that's the remains of a well. I believe there's a chimney base out there. This is uh, this is pretty amazing. That that terraced wall right there is very reminiscent of the Whitehead yeah. plantation. They look like the man back there. Is that a I believe so. built with a curve to it. Yeah. This is, this is pretty great here. It comes around like that, and then goes back up that way. Got a brick. It's in there. It's in there. Is it the best part we've been looking for? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Let's see. It looks like something, but I can't make it out. There's a big house here with the females at each end. You can see the foundation of it. Hey, Dan. To 
kind of give us an age of this place. It's got these handmade bricks. Or an angle. Is that, or is that? I think it's just area. broken, Dan. Yeah. These handmade bricks like yeah. the other one. So there must be a family cemetery somewhere nearby here. Yeah. That went to this place. So I think that we've kind of stumbled upon the uh, another big old plantation house. I believe so. Chimney are quite a distance apart. Besides one chimney. There should be another one back there where the chimney would have been. Maybe that's it. I don't know where the kitchen would have been. Yeah. Some of those stones right there. in my books. It could be. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't have them today. This county has my records. Yeah, we've been working on it before. Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's probably in that book. Yeah. It should be in that book now. Yeah. Well, we're definitely on the hilltop. And this definitely wasn't homestead where were they stuck the family's plot we can agree we've seen lots of the original road but i think it's joined back into where we're at now yeah i don't think that we came up with, with anything like that but uh the map shows does not show the home site but it does show the grave site Let's walk out that direction and then back to the road. Let's see what's out there. What is that? That's an old culvert pipe. Big. Hmm? Almost this squared. Either. Yeah, that's that looks like maybe a step or something maybe. It's almost like a step being square. There's like some that. other big stones over there. That might have been the getting off the horse stone. Who knows? What do they call that? Horse mounting block. Horse mounting block. Thing is, I don't see it. That's the wood that's left here. Brick, yeah. That chimney fell this direction. We did. See? It's nice and cool. The deer like to lay on it. The bed down on that during the day. Something over there stone wise. That may be a down tree, I don't know. Well. 
Say that again, Dan. I said, I believe that may be what we're looking for. I believe so. That's it. This is it. found it the same way that we found the Crawford Cemetery. We found the home site first and then we started walking west. That's right. <laughs> so, I have no idea whose home place this was, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. But finding out who's buried in here may be a different story. This is an old, old cemetery. There's room for maybe, maybe four graves in there. Four adult graves. There's another old road bed that runs right through there. One well. thing about this wall, somebody went to a lot of work to build this. And you and I, we, we've all seen lots of rock walls in Harrison Talbot County. Yeah. But I don't think I have ever seen one with stones the size of these. No. And I couldn't help but notice that some of the rocks on the uh, where, in the piles of uh, chimney ruins up there where the house was, yeah. I couldn't help but notice the size. And I stood up there thinking, how in the world did they move those rocks? It would take how many men to pick that up? I mean, I know they could wrap a rope around it and harness it and pull it here with a mule. with a mule, but somebody that many times. Yes, that That's many times. Thing. I mean, look look at the one in that corner over there. And then another one laying over there. But that one right there is huge. Yeah. Now that didn't fall off of there, did it? You think? They had to move it off of there to there, so it might have been placed there for, you know, like a capstone or something. I don't it know. It could have been. I don't, I don't know. It does seem out of place. It does. I think it's around the top of County Stone Edge. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to look in these tracks. I've seen in that video of the Roberts, you know, somebody crawl out of these things, you know. Oh, yeah. I ain't going to say their names. Does it start with an S and end with an S? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rhymes with rake. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've been told Dan, I said, don't get behind me because that's the way I'm running. <laughs> And, and, and he probably said, you, can't, you ain't gonna worry about, you gotta catch up to me. <laughs> Dan's got his snake stick. It used to be the snake hoe, yeah, but the I was looking up in there. handle broke. But I'm not looking for them. I'm just looking at the way this is built. Yeah. I'm just, that just amazes me. Why, that's all the way over there. It didn't come off the top of this. There's another big one right there. It may have been sitting there at one time, but what moved it? if it got moved. I mean, some of these have crumbled in. Yeah. It may have slid off. It's on another rock Yeah, there. it's on another rock right there. So that's, that's why I was saying what moved it? Somebody meddling? It could have been a tree fell many, many years yeah. ago and, and moved it and the tree is rotted and gone. And gone, yeah. There's a cedar tree. 
top of the cedar tree right here. observing this it looks like two adult graves and two children yeah Let me see what you're seeing there Dan from this side where he's standing you can see it perfectly right here yeah. this looks like an adult grave and that looks like an adult grave there yep that looks like a child's grave up there and I believe there's one in that corner up there also might be one over here on this corner too. It could be. This tree right here has diminished it. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's an old tree. It's been there a long time. Hmm. That tree started growing after it sunk. Yeah, yeah. Too. That's another thing looking at it. Yeah. Wow. Well, this is a heck of a find. It really is, you know, old yeah. plantation site, we assume, you know, big plantation house and um, a very old cemetery. I was really hoping to find a name. Maybe we can come up with a name. Yeah. Maybe it's recorded in one of the older books that was written. For sure. Let's see what we can find out. Hmm. All in. I have no idea. This isn't what Mr. Ben was talking about, though, because he said those ones that he saw had headstones. He said they were tall. Remember him telling us about that? And I don't see any graves, no no obvious graves outside this little enclosure. Mm. No. Yeah, that's another odd thing, because you always do. Almost. Always. I think that may speak to uh, how short it was lived in. Maybe if, fam if there wasn't family to keep burying here. What is this over here? What do you be a grave or it could be where a tree fell. Yeah. Like stump hole. Look at this. It's shaped like one. It's a fire, man. It was really long ago. Mm -hmm. A plow point. Is it still on it? No, it's shaved away. It's still there, but I mean... Yep. I think that might have been a grave. I it's, believe it is. Yeah. It's, it's oblong. Hmm. There may be one over there, too. Overall, the, high, the higher plateau, up behind it, just dropped, just dropped fast. Yeah. So, the house is still on the higher plateau. The wells dug are on the higher plateau. And the graves are on the higher plateau. And they can't see it on the film, but I mean, it drops down. We got South Prong Creek on that side. What we got on this side? I forgot. Uh, I don't remember Creek Dixon Road. You talking about Creek Wise? Yeah, Creek Wise. I didn't look. Because back then, that's what they had to navigate by. Yeah. You know, and uh, that was their main terrain features and stuff. So it's, and this is not rough edge. I have to look at what community this would have been considered. It's the south side of 36. Might be rough edge. Might still be a portion because, uh, of the south edge of it. The, uh, the graves that are nearby oh, here That's are right, rough we edge. came up this way. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Dan. This is better land. <laughs> is this still rough edge? Yeah, 
the southern okay. part of rough southern edge. Part, yeah. It's better, it's better to land. Yeah, it is. It's a lot better. I mean, it's got a share of rocks, but it's nothing. And don't have to worry about the big ones. They already got them all out of the way. Fair enough. Wow, those things are huge. For, for a man to move. Well, I think we had a uh, successful hunt as far as we found it. Yeah. We found it, and we may have to do a part two when we find out the yeah. story of who was here. Yeah. But that was cool. Found the old home site and the people buried there. Right, and true. Led to more mystery. Oh, yeah. So. Open the page on the book. Figure out who it is. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.